morning everyone. I It's actually quite late morning. I'm just applying my bronzer. I've been, um, basically I had a shoot yesterday and this morning I've been choosing all the pictures and approving them from um, yesterday's shoot. So that's what I've been doing this morning which is why I'm quite late to put on my makeup. And in case you're wondering, I'm using this. It's by Hourglass and it's new. This is why I turned my camera on because I thought I would show you. It's the Ambient Radiant Bronze Light Bronzing Powder. But on my eyes, this is the most exciting thing. Woo, look at that guy. Oh, um, it's from BH Cosmetics, I think. Yeah, it's the Essential Eyes 28 Color Eyeshadow Palette. Look how pretty it is, in case you didn't see that the first time. The other thing I wanted to show you were these new Too Faced blushes. Ooh, this is the one I randomly chose. Love Hangover. Look at that, that's quite pretty, isn't it? It's two little, focus on the thing, it's two little birdies. No, no, bunnies, not birdies. Ooh, 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 ooh. What do you guys think? I quite like that color. I think it needs a touch of blending. Don't know why I chose a fan brush, but you know, no one can make right decisions all the time. Look at these, I'm in such desperate need of a haircut. I look like Wednesday Adams. I'm just like chilling here like, hello, my name is Wednesday. What is this doing? <laughs> it's like the longest thing ever. And it just doesn't, it just doesn't do anything. It just sits and needs to be cut badly. I wanted to show you the other bits on my face except the palette and the hourglass bronzer and the blush. So I'm trying out the new Rimmel um, foundation and matching concealer. Not so sure about the foundation, but really like the concealer so far. And then I set the concealer with this, which I just mentioned in my favorites. It's a like brightening powder. And then on my lips, I put Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Pink Venus, not Pillow Talk. I can't get enough of this lipstick. It's so gorgeous. It's by Burberry and it's called Pink Tulip. It's like one of their kissing lipsticks or kisses or something. And then I also use my Rimmel, no, not Rimmel, Maybelline Last Sensational Waterproof Mascara. I'm going for a lunch meeting now and it's actually with one of my friends who I've known like since I was 16, I think, and now he has a company in our businessy paths overlap, which is quite cool. So I'll tell you guys about that at lunch, but I just want to show you what I'm wearing. I have this like simple gray, it's not gray, it's white, <laughs> white tee. I think this is from ASOS, by the way. And then I have my leather pants over the knee boots, as always. I need to grab these, my coat and my bag. Let's go. <laughs> I get to the table and the iPad is already set up. Meeting ready. Woo! Here we go. Everyone's singing some songs. Now, this looks like my kind of salad. I cannot come to a sushi base without cucumber rolls. It's the saddest addiction ever, but I love them. I left Ollie in charge of dessert. This looks so good. Oh, it's oozing out. Oh, yeah. It's green on the inside. Barley green. Ollie green. <laughs> it's green on the inside. Lunch was good, and lunch was conveniently around the corner from Selfridges, which is where I'm heading to now because I really need some Charlotte Tilbury in my life. Uh, I said this morning I'm like running out of Charlotte Tilbury lip crap, and I was just on the phone yesterday, and I told her what I was doing, and she said, "Oh, here's the heavy door, heavy door," um, and. Um, and she said that she had lost her sexy sienna and asked if I would get one for her as well. So, back in the Selfridges Beauty Hall. Here we go, Charlotte Tilbury counter. I am eyeing up these, her new cream eyeshadows. I'm debating between these two shades. I think one was called Norma Jean and one was called Bet. <laughs> Thank you. Seriously, swatch and matte lipstick, because what's new? Thank you very much. This is my favorite little bit of Selfridges because it has the beauty workshop, which has so many exciting things. Oh, look at these water bottles. I have one. I think it's this one. They're so cute. I love these as well, because they're like little stands of just cute things. Like, look how gorgeous these oil blocking strips are. I had such a good lunch with Ollie. It was a really productive lunch. I thought there would be way more chat and way less work, but it was actually all work, which is good. He has a company, it's actually called Wrap Me. It's like social media wrapping paper. It's really cool. I will link it below. And also the other thing I wanted to show you, speaking of like printing things and stuff, I don't know where I was going with this. I just sent these today. 
They're Boomph marshmallows. I've never heard of them before. Look how cool they are. And yeah, I've eaten four already, but they were from Lancome um, and they're so yummy. But I have a problem. So I thought I would show you my problems. <laughs> Jokes. Um, this is just everything I picked up in sandwiches and I thought I would do a little mini haul because <laughs> this is the first thing in my haul. It is a, um, what are these even called? Wipes. And it's full of swatches, so that can just go in the bin. Um, anyway, I thought I'd show you, if, in case you're interested in what I bought. Um, I bought a lipstick. The reason why I went in was to buy Pillow Talk for me, the Charlotte Tilbury lip liner, and Sexy Sienna Matte Revolution for Estee. So that was the reason why I, did, why I went into Selfridges, and then other reasons happened. Got another pillow talk for Hannah, and Claire, when she was in London, said she loves Iconic Nude, and Iconic Nude always feels a bit brownie to me. She said she really likes it, so I thought I'd give it a go, because I'm sure if she likes it, I'll love it. I trust Claire with my heart and my soul, and I also wanted to try one of her, what are these called? Eyes to Mesmerize, long-lasting, easy color. I bought the shade Mona Lisa. It's like a really nice brownie, mauvey color. They're super, super creamy. I'm not sure if they're gonna crease, but I have it on good authority that they don't. Here's a little swatch. Um, oh, good thing I have that white to get rid of this swatch. Ooh, there we go. Um, okay, what else? That was bag number one. In bag number two, first I went to Matt, and Lily Pebbles keeps talking about Mare, and she wears it with, I think it's sore, and it just looks so good. And when I was watching her Everyday May, I was like, yes, come to mama. So I bought Mare. This is it. Do I swatch it for you? This is gonna ruin the lipstick, so I hope you appreciate that this is gonna, oh, there's Mare right there. I think that looks so nice. I'm so excited. Kind of reminds me of Plumful, but more nude than Plum. Um, and then I also got Well lip pencil. I was like, you know, by any chance I haven't had Well because I know Well's sold out 24 seven. She was like, oh yeah, we do. Oh, I was wondering, I was like, who's that? And it was Duke, like, <laughs> sniffing around. Um, so this is Well, right there. Can you see that? Um, it's quite browny nude, so we shall see how that suits me, or if it does or doesn't. And then the last couple things I bought, um, oh my gosh, so when you buy stuff on Cult Beauty, or maybe it was even on Sephora actually, I got like a mini sample of the Beauty Blender Solid Cleanser. Wow, I didn't think I would like that. Why would I need a solid soap for my brushes and my sponges? Such a freaking good brush cleanser and sponge cleanser. If I could open it, I could show you. Oh no, here it is. But, oh my gosh, it was, it was like miraculous that I'm gonna get this all over my white top, aren't I? Let me just wipe this off before this goes everywhere. But honestly, this soap, guys, life-changing soap, let me tell you. So, oh, this one actually pops out. So this is the little soap. Wash your brushes in it, wash your sponges. So I've got the big one of those. I also, I'm a sucker for this stuff, guys. I, what is wrong with me? I literally am such a sucker for like cute little dinkily package things. It's the Hello, has anyone heard of these? Breath spray in super mint. Should I open it and then we can have a little live, oh, I'm really ripping this to shreds, aren't I? A live mint breath test. Well, you can't really, look how cute, look. It says hello on it. Oh my, I'm such a sucker for this stuff. You, you, yeah, oh my god. Oh, oh, oh whoa. Uh, it's a bit minty. It's just a bit minty. You know, like there's mouth, oh. You know, there's mouthwashes. Oh, where it really makes you shudder with mint. Whoo, my breath does feel fresh though. It's definitely got the uh, marshmallow taste out of my mouth. And then the last thing I got were these, the DHC um, olive oil cotton swabs. These are so good, they come in packets like this and you rip them out and these little cotton swabs here are like drenched in oil basically, but in a good way so you can like sweep up any little liner mistakes, you can get rid of any eyeshadow underneath. They're amazing. Honestly, I didn't buy these. I haven't bought these for like a year or so. And I keep using cotton pads dipped in makeup remover, cotton swabs dipped in makeup remover. And it's not the same because these are like so precise and thin. So 
that is everything I picked up. I just looked at this as I was like taking everything out of the packaging. I bought three lip liners. I think in the past week and a half or two weeks, I've probably purchased over 10 lip liners. That is some sort of addiction. But you know what? There could be worse addictions than lip liners, people. Am I right? going to my friend Emmanuel's house right now she has a blog it's called Manu's Kitchen and I mentioned it before I love it I read it all the time it's one of my favorite food blogs and she's kindly gonna cook this evening which I'm so oh my gosh I love it when she cooks because she just makes like healthy but yummy but good is this taxi gonna steal my space to park yeah you are yeah you are oh my god everyone's flapping me oh. okay let me just park right here anyway that's what I'm doing right now <laughs> I'm wearing this comfy sweater from wild fox it has two palm trees on my boots What you doing, Charles? What you doing? Hello. 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 Look at this. What Manu's kitchen has prepared. Okay, tell us. This is so exciting. It's a saffron quinoa salad Ooh. with pomegranate and toasted almonds and chicken. Oh my god, it looks so yummy. That is a Thai green vegetable salad. This is my favorite thing what you make. It's like burnt cauliflower, tomatoes, avocado. And oh, dinner was so yummy. And I actually just uh, TMI undid my jeans because <laughs> why not? And now we've come to snog to have a snog. The marshmallows, the gummy bears, and the brownies as well. I have my mango snog and marshmallows, brownies, and gummy bears. I might just take this red one now. I think this is so interesting how people eat their snogs. I go like down from the top. Manu like has a little like cup. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an igloo. She wants to shape it. <laughs> yeah, she shapes it. <laughs> and you just like go all at it and like have all the, how have you talk us through your eating? <laughs> I don't know, I'm just taking a bit of everything. Just mixing it up. Yes. You've done well. Going to be diverse. I'm just gonna have at it with these marshmallows again. Let's take a selfie. Oh no, you just want someone to stroke your tummy. You just want someone to stroke your tummy. Guys, while I'm just lying here recovering from my food coma with Russ, who's always up here chilling. Hello, Russ. Um, he can go back up there though, sit on his little perch. Anyway, I'm just probably gonna sit here, reply to some comments, and rub my food baby for the rest of the evening. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed today's Junelia vlog. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you did. And I will see you in two days time with a new video. Good night. Oh, you couldn't even see my wave there. There we go, good night, sideways piano wave. So, today's giveaway. Um, some of the giveaways are on Twitter, by the way, so make sure, if I haven't talked about it in the video, then it's on Twitter, so make sure you're following me on there. But we have this tart. <laughs> Duke is like, seriously, can you please stop? We have this, <laughs> look, he's like, can you stroke my dummy instead of talking about the giveaways? This tart poppy picnic palette, it's really gorgeous. It has eyeshadows and then a blush in there, I think, as well. And then this rouge cocoa lipstick. It's in a really gorgeous nudie shade. It's in the shade Cecile. And then also the Charlotte Tilbury lip balm. It's her lip magic. So if you want to win these three things, the giveaway is going to be on Instagram. So all you have to do is make sure you're following me on there. My username is Amelia Liana. Post a screenshot of this vlog and use the hashtag Junelia. Oh, Duke's just, what are you doing? Let me just take these away from you. So yeah, if you want to win these three things, that's all you have to do. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I already said goodnight guys, but I thought after the giveaway message, I'll say goodbye again, so bye. I didn't make the ice or soda, but there was a floor drobe. But now, SA and I are super late for dinner, and I'm gonna kindly ask her to do an outfit yeah. of the day. Let's yeah. just put this down here. I'm doing. Basically, what I'm trying to say there is in the pan, it doesn't translate to how it does on the cheeks. On the cheeks, it gives you such a gorgeous glow. It's really natural. I'm not a big fan of cream products. Sometimes I find they can be a bit wet looking on my skin.